the main event. The Ryan Garcia was back in the ring, following in the footsteps of some of the other people that Dazone mentioned of notable absences, which was just uh, just a little bit too much. But <laughs> it's pretty similar to Ali getting stripped for three and a half years. Yeah, of course. Yeah, pretty much the same. That but was yeah. That it was, was that whole, that graphic was was a bit much, but it got the reaction and got the engagement they wanted to. So good, I good saw, on their social team, but. If I could start, you know, go ahead, I, kick I, it off. I saw a guy who really wanted to do a lot of the things Reynoso taught him when he would come forward. And if you go back, if, if uh, the fans watch and go back and watch the advice that Canelo gave Valdez after his Concecial fight, and he said, yeah, this guy was moving and he's, you got to stay on him and, and just touch with the faint, faint touch and then bang to the body once he gets along the ropes. And I was like, that's exactly what. I know Canelo would be telling him to do, mm -hmm. and you can see him wanting to do what Canelo and Reynoso would drill him to do. Mm -hmm. um, that's what he's been taught the last mm -hmm. couple of years. Mm -hmm. But either because he doesn't fully want to do it because he wants to embrace what his new coach is teaching him, of course, or uh, or because it's getting a little rusty those skills that he learned because he's not in camp with them. Whatever yeah, it may yeah, be, yeah. I, I saw him, you know in a transition stage, like like his instinct and what he's been drilled in to do the last couple of years is what Reynoso taught him. You even saw him come in and hold his hands like Canelo does, like Reynoso teaches him, um, but wasn't able to get him out of there. I think Ryan Garcia, had he fought this guy last May, a couple months coming off of Luke Campbell, he'd have got him out of there yeah. in five or six. Mm -hmm. But with the layoff, with the new change in trainers, he wasn't able to do that. And so it was what it was, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and he's still fast and still punches hard, but uh, it was an in transition performance. Bad fighter to have a transition performance with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or to have to go against uh, because this guy's awkward. This guy's not going to sit still. And this guy, even his defense was just so unorthodox that I think it I think it left this fight left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. But it, it wasn't so much Ryan Garcia as it was the opposition as well. You know what I mean? So you, I think you hit it on the nail right there. It's all of those components, all of the changes, the time off, the 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 time of not having your blood boil to the to the to the heat at the heat that it is, and that type of moment. And then of course with all of the chatter that you got to come back and answer to, I think it was a lot for Ryan to deal with. And I think that the guy made the fight even harder for him. And, um, you know, I think we got the performance that we got. I I don't know. Yeah, if it was somebody different, I don't think we, we would have had the same thing. But a guy like Ryan that has the experience that he has for him not to use his jab really is disappointing to me. Yeah. I know I speak all the time about the jab and all those types of things. But a kid that, that with that kind of speed and you're telling me that this is how you choose to close the distance on this guy is by walking him down. I think... <clears throat> I think a lot of fighters they they buy into that that Jason what, what's his name Voorhees 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 that Jason Voorhees effect where because I'm walking you down number one that the judges aren't gonna so what especially if yeah, that right. if that's round after round after round so yeah, what a lot of the judges love the it. fan the fans yeah just because you're walking this guy down we don't care anymore we need you to do something else we need you to pull that machete out yeah. and and <laughs> take some wax at it you know yeah. what I'm saying. And it, I think that that's why everybody's got a bad taste in their mouth because we're used to seeing Flash. And when he get Flash last night, we got a lot of walking. We got a lot of I'm a big bad boy. Yeah. And we didn't get and we didn't get anything behind it. <laughs> and, it and it was his his body language a few times. Ryan Tego would would kind of step off to the side and it was like, all right. He'd, yeah. take, he'd take these steps forward yeah. and he'd get in front of him, and then he wouldn't wouldn't really let his hands go. It was like. Um, we mentioned in the Troll Gache and Tim Zhu fight where I kept saying he's kind of there, but he doesn't let his hands go a lot. This was that, but like amplified. Like mm -hmm. Ryan was like getting there, throw a couple shots. Obviously, he drops him, which I don't know why Tego didn't think he was a knockdown. It was clearly a knockdown. <laughs> um, <laughs> but pushed. yeah, it, yeah, it was just, it was it was okay. Um, the right hand that 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 had me a little. I was like. Yeah, he, his right hand is a chopping. I was no nothing new for a chopping right hand for any fighter. I know, but his it was. I don't like, very, I've mentioned before, I don't you like. You mean the way he launched it? Or? Nah, he just, it was a lot of kinda, these. Yeah, just kind of throwing it. I'm not going to do it again, but it was yeah. a lot of, I, I, was, like, uh, I was like, I was like, come on, man, throw a better right hand than that. It was, it was, it was, it was almost like a desperation right hand. Like, I got you, I got you. And it wasn't, it wasn't direction. It wasn't, yeah. you know what I mean? Patience and, 
You know what I mean? He wasn't as fluid and as smooth as as, as I'm used to seeing. And I, I've mentioned before my distaste for setting high expectations for yourself. I understand you always go into a fight wanting to win. You always go into a fight hoping for a knockout, looking for a knockout, whatever it is. But Ryan Garcia says, yeah, I'll probably, I think they said on the broadcast, I'll get him out in two or three rounds. Okay. You well, didn't I thought he all. might have too because I thought this guy was going to come to I, him and I try to crowd same, him. But, but when you're saying that and then you go 12 and then Joe Goosen was quoted as saying, I'd be shocked yeah. if it went the distance yeah. well. Was he trying to get rounds in? I, I don't know. No. No, I don't. I don't, Josh, I don't said, Josh said that down quick. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think so. What What did you think overall, Ant? Uh, I thought it was a snooze fest. Uh, I'm over watching Ron Garcia fights bums. Oh, man. Uh, we hold you to a different standard. It's time to. It's time to go, man. We want to see Ryan Garcia in the picture with the with the heavyweights of the light heavyweight of the what the light heavyweight division. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Mm-hmm. We want to see him over there with the dogs, man. Stop calling him out and getting in the ring. He's like the only one that's called him out, but not doing nothing about it. Just talking, talking, talking like. That. Is you down for else? the Jojo Diaz fight, Ant? Is is that work? I'll take it. I'll take it. That that builds us. That gives us something else, right? That's gonna get us to the next step. We're not gonna fight Luke Campbell and then sit that da- sit down for a year and a half, are we? And I think a- if I think if he fights Jojo Diaz, I think he's forced to fight, and he's not gonna have to stalk Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz is gonna be there. He can box for sure. And Jojo Diaz also was on the commentary yesterday and. You know, did the the sleeping emoji? I was like, dang! He was like, yeah, it's all bad, which builds into a fight. You know, you said it was a snooze fest. Go ahead and you know prove otherwise. But and I, you know, I always got to play the devil's advocate, man. I just think that everybody needs to be patient. Yeah. You know, we when when he first announced that he was going to take some time off and and because he was dealing with things, you know, me personally, that that definitely that that hit me because I understand it and I'm trying to be an, an advocate for that help and so i was i was concerned but and 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 when we you know we talked about it we said all right now we just have to give him his time we have to be patient so on and so forth now that he's come back none of that's erased we still have to be patient with the with the comeback and we still have to hope for the best for him and i think that we have to be positive about this fight and not jump on the jojo diaz snooze fest not jump on the uh and i get what you're saying like i want to see him against the best i'm tired of seeing him in these type of fights but at the same time we still have to we have to have some patience because of everything that he's that he's gone through and is going through and we can't say, all right, well, you're back. You had your fight. What's next? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's just let's make sure that he's good. If 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 in fact he's good, then, then yeah, let's move forward and yeah. let's get a JoJo Diaz fight and let's get something. Let's get a step up so that we can get a leap after that instead of talking about these guys yeah. that that are getting in the and ring I, fight. I thought he did a good job. His post fight interview was pretty good. I've also mentioned before. I hate when fighters say, yeah, he was on his bike. Well. And Ryan was like, no, he was moving. Um, I need to do a better job cutting the ring off, which is good self-awareness. And when they asked him at the end, Chris Mannix said, you know, Tank Davis fight. He was kind of like, you know what? You know, usually I'm calling people out, but I'm going to let my team handle it. So I get what you're saying with the patience, but it's always, I'll give you the patience. Yeah. But then if you're going to fast track yourself and say, no, I want this guy, then we're like, okay, go and get him. Mm-hmm. You said you wanted him, get him. Right. But it sounded like he said the best thing he could say for after sure. the fight. So yeah, we'll see what he does. Um, you know, that was also his first fight back with Joe Goose. Yeah, which yeah. They have experience it, it, in the what, past. You no, know, I gave all this praise to Reynoso at the beginning, but it took Reynoso three or four fights for Oscar Valdez to look good. Yeah. So that it, it takes time. You're not gonna mm-hmm. learn everything from your new trainer in one fight or yeah. two mm-hmm. even. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll so. see we'll see what he does, but he's back in the ring, which is I think we're all happy about overall. That's um, an interesting thing too, about uh when a fighter changes a trainer because not only are you trying to you're trying to adjust to a new training style new maybe even new training techniques and of course strategies and things like that but then now you introduce a new a new fighter in the ring and now you gotta you gotta change <laughs> the coach and the fighter have to adjust to not only themselves but the fight as well you yeah. know what i mean so it's it's quite a process in in retrospect, you know. Because I mean? I'd imagine as a coach, like no no no, keep keep doing what the last one taught. He he taught you that perfect. I yeah. don't want you to don't yeah, discard, abandon that. Right yeah. right. Yeah. I just want you to do this as well. Yeah yeah but, yeah. We'll see how they grow. Um, but that yeah, that was the zone down in, in San Antonio. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All do right. It. Just introduce yourself. Okay. 
And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Breno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.